Yo guys, what's going on? It is me, KLV, and in today's video, I want to talk about Cold War. Now, I want to talk about Cold War on how Activision is kind of just like ruining the game. Now, I believe this isn't actually Treyarch's fault. I believe this is actually Activision with all the skill-based matchmaking and all that. And in my opinion, it's kind of just ruining the multiplayer experience. So, the reason why I say that is because for starters, with skill-based matchmaking... The game is not fun. The game is stressful. I'm literally ripping out my hair, trying to just play the game casually and just have fun. And the reason why it is really annoying is because I want to have fun on the game. Games are meant to be fun. And with, with skill-based matchmaking, you can't have fun because everyone, if you try hard in the game, and uh, you do good. For example, when I was going for gold on all the uh, assault rifles, I was obviously going to try and do good because more kills equals more weapon XP, blah, blah, blah. And that has kind of made it so it's because I did good, now I'm in lobbies that are try hard. So I can't like play the game casually. So that kind of just ruined the experience for me, if you know what I mean. So that kind of is annoying for starters. For two, they they really need to add a ranked mode into this game. Because Call of Duty is a casual FPS game. Now, if you want to play a competitive FPS game, there's tons out there. You've got CSGO, you've got Rainbow Six Siege. And in them games, what are mainly competitive games, they have a casual mode and a ranked mode. And with Rainbow Six Siege, now I don't know too much about CSGO, because I don't really play ranked in CSGO that much. But with Rainbow Six Siege, in their ranked mode, every single season when your when your rank resets, you will get a charm for whatever rank you got that season. So when I got platinum, I got a platinum charm. Uh, it was it was a terrible platinum charm though. I didn't really like it. But you got a charm for that season. Now, Cordy you could really do that. They could literally do like emblems or something. So for example, you could use an emblem that shows that you got this. Uh, this rank in this season because it's seasons in black ops there's i believe there's going to be six seasons i believe somewhere around there so then you could add a ranked mode if for each of them seasons and i believe all the cods from now on are going to be like uh, connecting to each other like how warzone and black ops cold war are like connecting with each other so then they could basically do that there's also stickers in the game so you could get uh, a sticker for that rank that you got that season now that's what it would be really good in my opinion is having that because it's like some like nice little uh, uh, customization you can have a little bit of a reward and the reason why there's they, it really winds me up that there isn't a ranked mode is because in the mobile version of Call of Duty the the Call of Duty mobile version there is a ranked mode and in that ranked mode you can get a bunch of rewards for getting different ranks and you can get like weapon skins you can get character skins and it is a really good thing that what they do. And I just don't care why they don't implement it into basically the actual game. Because Call of Duty is mainly known for the console versions and all that. Not really for the mobile version. Everyone knows Call of Duty from like consoles and uh, PCs. Basically like a basically just console stuff basically. Not really mobile gaming. Right? No one's like, oh I don't want to go on Call of Duty. They don't think of the mobile version, they think of like the consoles. Well in my opinion anyway. And it really does annoy me how it's in the mobile version but not in the actual version. So that that is just really annoying right in there. And um, there's been another thing as well, there's been this other thing that's been going around where apparently this, there's this code where if you start doing good, your hit registration and basically it just makes you do bad against other players, but it makes other players do bad in real time. Now I don't really know too much about it, I don't know if it's true or if it's not, but I have seen it recently, and it's just like, if it is true, they are ruining the multiplayer. Now, the thing is with Cold War, I love Cold War. It is a really good game, except for like weapon balance and all that, but I'm not really going to talk about that because it's only been out for nearly a month now, I believe. And every game's going to have like really bad weapon balance and all that. But um, it's a really good game. In my opinion, it is better than Modern Warfare. You haven't got stupid doors and uh, really bad UAVs, really bad uh, UAV on the map. It's just a really good game, Cold War is. Now, the thing what is 
good about Cold War is that there's zombies. There's zombies that you can play, and the zombies is a really solid. The zombie mode is solid. I love the zombie mode. I play the zombies quite a lot. I'm literally going for Dark Ether, and I'm having so much fun while playing the zombies. But the thing is, I'm more of a multiplayer person. I prefer multiplayer so much more than zombies. And I'm preferring the zombies over multiplayer because of skill-based matchmaking. And what also is bad is that you are now getting banned for reverse boosting. Meaning that they, you're probably not going to get rid of, of skill-based matchmaking because they are banning people for reverse boosting. So it just like makes a point like... Why have Scooby's matchmaking in the game? Now, I know it's to like protect the noobs, blah, blah, blah. But back in the day, there was not such a thing. The noobs had to learn how to get better. For me, for example, I had to learn to get better. I had to watch tips and tricks videos on how to get better at the game. I still do to this day. I still do to this day to improve. There's always something to improve on. And it annoys me because if you're getting better at the game, you're going to get... You're not going to do better like back in the day like Modern Warfare 2 area if you got better at the game you're gonna get chopper good you're gonna get nukes all them high kill streaks but now you can't you could get any kill streak even if you die even though you do have to still get a lot of kills what is somewhat decent you still have to get a lot of kills like you don't see everyone using a veto every single game but in, well, in, in my lobbies I see vetoes a lot but you don't see one like every single game someone getting a veto. They still do have to go to streaks, but it's just that you that you can still get score streaks after you die. So for example, you could die and still get that veto that like your next kill. What is it's annoying, but at the same time it, they haven't done it terrible. Okay, they haven't done it terrible. They've done it somewhat decent so that uh, if you go to high streaks, you can, you're more likely to get them. Then someone that's keep going like one kill, one death, one kill, one death, so on. And a thing I just I don't get why skill based matchmaking is in the game. Everyone is complaining about it. Everyone is complaining about it. Like if they want the game to do good, they will get rid of skill based matchmaking. Because literally, if skill based matchmaking was gone and they added a ranked mode, Call of Duty would be so much more better. Because then if they added a ranked mode and you can get rewards for that ranked mode for each individual season. For each individual rank, my bad. Then people are going to be playing the ranked mode a lot because they're going to be getting them rewards that's exclusive to the ranked mode, and it's just like, just please implement it. Like, I'm fed up of going into a multiplayer game, just trying to do camo challenges and all that, and I'm just getting a jump around corners. I'm just getting drop shot everywhere. It's just, it's disgusting, man. It is disgusting. And the new town playlist as well. When you have tryhards in that lobby, you have people with SMGs, well, MP5s, more specific. You got orgs, you got M16s, you got LMGs being sprayed. And what does also really annoy me, if I see someone with a gold MP5, okay, a gold MP5 or a gold, basically any weapon that is super OP at the moment, if you're using that gold, I, I hate you. I, I literally hate you. Now, if you use a sniper gold and run around quick circle with a, a gold sniper, I respect that, okay? Sniping is quite hard in this game because on how much they've nerfed it. And uh, that gives a nice segue to actually sniping. So, so with sniping, they've nerfed it quite a bit, okay? For starters, your ADS speed. You literally could get shredded by an MP5 or any weapon before you could aim in. And that already is really bad. If you could literally get shredded by a weapon before you aim in with a sniper, that's that's just already bad. And for starters, it's just the damage. Like you have to hit him like above like the shoulders, like ab about the shoulder about shoulders area to get a one shot. Sometimes below the shoulders a little bit, but never like around the legs. And it's just like it's just ridiculous on how much they've nerfed the sniping. It is absolutely ridiculous. Like, maybe add some more attachments for ADS speed. Maybe add some more attachments for more damage so you can get that one-shot kill anywhere on the body. Because with Cold War, what I've realised is the, the attachments are very important in this game. Now, normally, sometimes attachments can not really help a weapon. But in this game, attachments does really help. And I've seen myself a lot of times using every single attachment because more attachments you have actually helps the gun a lot in this game. Attachments are really good in this game because they actually really do 
actually help the weapon. For example, if you, when I was using the RPD, it wasn't too good at the first, when I first started using it, but as soon as I started getting attachments with it, as soon as I started getting like all the attachments that are decent, it was it would shred. It would shred. It would have like no recoil, a quick reload, a quick run. It would it would be really really. But with snipers, for example, with the Barrett, for example, this is the Barrett is terrible. It is the worst Barrett in the in the whole COD, in the whole of Call of Duty. It is the worst Barrett. It is just so slow and doesn't one hit, and. It kind of just scares me about sniping because it is just so weak compared to the other weapons. It is not balanced at all. If you can literally, like I've said earlier, if you can get shredded by an MP5 or any other weapon before you aim in, that doesn't seem fair to me. That does not seem fair at all. Now, Treyarch have never really liked sniping because, for example, in Black Ops 1, they had the the sniping was absolute nerf, it was like that massive idle the sway of the gun and everything. Uh, Black Ops 2, I believe, it was it was actually not bad, sniping on Black Ops 2 wasn't, I mean, I mean just thinking about the ballista, because the ballista was like really good for sniping. Uh, Black Ops 3, it was obviously kind of hard for sniping because you had to you was all that jumping and all that. And then Black Ops 4, PC, did get quite a nerf on PC sniping because they had a, I think it was a slower bolt. Uh, I watched like one of Rick Sway's video. They had like a s slower bolt or something. What made no sense to me because everyone on PC is playing against everyone on PC. But uh, yeah, now Activision is kind of ruining this game. Activision is ruining this game with skill based matchmaking just because of how stressful it is. Now I really, really, really hope that they seriously do fix it and just may maybe just lower skill based matchmaking down a bit. Or just get rid of it and add a ranked mode because it is in the mobile version. There is a mo there is a ranked mode in the mobile version of the game, and yeah, that's that's kind of been my point on it. Um, reason why I haven't been really uploading a lot because to be honest, I haven't really been playing a lot of multiplayer. Um, I've not really been playing a lot of multiplayer to be honest. I've been playing a lot of zombies, just grinding out camos. Uh, it's took me a longer to level up my weapons because I I could really can't be asked for multiplayer. Like literally, if I jump onto more player, I know that I'm gonna get absolutely sweated on, and especially with using like the DMR. The DMR is not the best of weapons, and I don't like hardcore, so I have to play core because I don't like hardcore that much because it just it don't fit my type of play style, and yeah, literally I have to play zombies after the round twenty. You get XP a little bit slower, but it's still somewhat fast. And um, yeah, that's basically it, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe; would be very much appreciated. And uh, yeah, let's hope the uh, Activision uh, fixes this. See you guys later.